Welcome to part six of building this four foot wide agricultural drone in my bedroom. We're going to see if we can get the spray tank and the motors attached. With six of these motors on a three pound drone frame, we have a lot of power. We're going to be able to lift 50 to 60 pounds. Shouldn't be too bad. I just got to thread the wires down through the tubes here and toss each of the motors on. All we got to do is rinse and repeat. Now we have to see if this wooden frame can actually hold the weight. You might think an engineer would know this before building it, but uh, it's making a lot of creaking noises. But I haven't heard anything crack yet. Yeah, what do you keep on your dresser? I keep my four foot agricultural spray drone. Speaking of spray, this tank is where things get challenging. These wires take up a little more space than I originally anticipated. So I'm not sure if this is gonna fit too well. Kind of need the wires and also need the tank. This was on purpose. The only way you could say this wasn't on purpose is if I admitted it. With the wires all jammed in here between the tank and the wood, the tank is firmly in there just because of the wires. That's probably not very professional, but man alive, the spacing just lined up so incredibly perfectly. Wow. That's so cool. Stay tuned for part seven, I believe, of this build. Um, I've got to figure out how to get this pump. There's a pump for, uh, for the spray kind of got to put it somewhere so that I can actually spray out of the drone. Um, let's get that figured out next time.